So this is Felis aquatili, or the water cat. Its name is the scientific name. Um, this cat is a close relative of the feline family, and it is an amphibious species that can live on water and land. This is a great pet for people who live near the water or have underwater hobbies like scuba diving or fishing because of the fact that they can both breathe in water and underwater and they can also their bioluminescent patterns can also light up dark areas. So if you're swimming, um, scuba diving being very deep to places that are darker, you can use them to have some non-electric flashlight. And also their bioluminescence is good for young children who are still scared of the dark. Um, they have multiple different traits that can be bred for, including their bioluminescent color and also their type of tail fin. Um, they have, um, um, their do um, a, the dorsal fin that some, that some of them carry is a sex link trait, so it's more common in males than females, but females can still get them. Um, water cats have two different types of fins that either have a crescent, more shark, like fin, and then they also have a double fish fin. Um, the fish fin is for mobility and agility in water, whereas the shark fin is used more for fast swimming for long periods of time. Then you also have the fur color, um, which is dark blue, um, green, teal, or dark teal, which is the combination of blue and teal because it's in incomplete. It's an incomplete dominant trait. And then you have the bioluminescent pattern with striped or spotted or striped and spotted for co-dominance. And then you have the bioluminescent color, which can be green, blue, or purple. Here are my definitions, including genes, which is the study of, um, ha of uh, genetics, which is the study of genes and heredity, and other ones like traits. Yeah, here are my the tags for them, I didn't name them, I just had mom, dad, female, kid, and male kid, and here are my pedigrees.